Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick. I'm Ian. And uh, today we're going to be talking about why owning vinyl records is a pointless endeavor. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click on that link down below. Go check out The Vinyl Den Facebook group. It's just a cool place to continue the music conversation. There's also a link down there for the Vinyl Den merch page. We got uh, these cool Vinyl Den t-shirts. There's also uh, sweatshirts on there. There's a link for the Vinyl Den Spotify and Apple Music playlist where every week we're just compiling music that we're talking about here on the channel. Putting together a nice, uh, a nice playlist for everyone to enjoy. And there's also a link for the Vinyl Den Patreon page if you want to support the show. It's always greatly appreciated. You can support the show for as little as a dollar a month. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. So in December of last year, there was an article in The Independent, and I think this has popped up several times on uh, social media over the last uh, couple of months, but Kitty Edwards was the author. She wrote this article. It said, the title of the article is, Vinyl Sales Are at a High, But Owning Records is a Pointless Endeavor. I'm sure people have already, I'm sure you've already, a lot of you have already seen this, this article. If not, I will put a link down below. Go check it out as Vinyl Music or vinyl record enthusiasts, it's an interesting read, would you not say? <laughs> I, mean, I would say slightly infuriating as, <laughs> as someone who collects records. So um, I just found her points to be wrong. <laughs> yeah. They're, uh, so basically what the premise of this article, at least what the premise I pulled away from, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is basically that her husband has a big record collection that takes up a third of their dining room, I think is what she said. And he, the only reason he has these records is he likes to pull them out and display them and show them off during dinner parties. I mean, is that kind of... Yeah, I mean, that's the gist of the front part of the article. The second part of the article is why have records when you can just listen stream, to it, yeah. stream it digitally yeah. and then not take up any space. And it's, I think she implies that the artists prefer it that way because they get more money or something. I don't, which is wrong. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting because she brings up the the uh, Adele the new Adele album because Adele had an issue with Spotify. She I guess when it was originally first put on Spotify, you couldn't shuffle the songs on the album because okay. she wanted the song listened the way oh, that yeah. it, that's intended to be listened right. to. And some people had issues with it. and I think it's been changed since then. Mm -hmm. But I think that's why she brings up the Adele album. In, I think in, I missed that article. part because I remember mentioning Adele, but I thought that she didn't like the idea that you couldn't cultivate playlists and stuff with vinyl well and i'm thinking well no that's kind of the point it's, yeah well she even know. kind of mentions it in the article she says that uh you know who are who is the artist to tell me how to listen right. to the music yeah and i'm like well in a lot of instances they've recorded they put those albums are sequenced in a specific order right. for a reason yeah, exactly. Uh, there's no, it's not an accident. They just put them in the order they recorded. Yeah. They, there's a reason each song follows the next. And if you've ever had mixed playlists and things like that, especially from other artists or from the same artist, you'll find that songs that are out of sequence sometimes sound, sound it out of sequence. sounds off, yeah. Yeah. So to me, I, if you want a cultivated playlist, sure, stick with digital. That's fine. But when you're listening to, to vinyl, to a record, kind of the point is to listen to it as it was presented. That's yeah. the point, in my opinion. It was funny, though. As I was reading through this article, kind of the first thought that popped into my head was, this lady must be a riot at parties. Because right. <laughs> she went out for, for a good chunk of the article talking basically about how she does has no idea why anyone would ever want to listen to a record. Right. And to me, I... You, I guess you could give some blame. If her husband is strictly buying them as a status symbol, well, I don't see how it is a status, status symbol, but as a, a point of bra to brag, and he's not actually buying them to listen to, I mean, that's his prerogative. I'm not going to judge him for it, but I can kind of understand her anger. Yeah, but, but the whole article reads like she's just, it's it, a rant about her husband's yeah, little hobby. Yeah, even if that's the case and she's mad that he's buying these records for no other reason other than to show them off, that's really kind of a odd, like blanket statement to make right. over the entire vinyl community. Yeah, and that's and that's the problem I have with it. It was, it's very, it's a very broad statement at a at a very large air, you know, group of people. Yeah, 
And none of us are the same. None of us buy records for the same reason. I mean, we might have similar reasons, but it's never always the same. We're never going to buy the same records. She lists Adele, ABBA, and uh, that redheaded kid, Ed Sheeran. Oh, Sheeran. yeah. That's it. Taylor Swift probably sell, sells all of them. She yeah. mentioned them. And I don't own any albums by any of those people. Yeah. So I'm not, I mean, why, why does she single out those artists? It's just... I, 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 it's just a, I, if you, like I said, if you haven't read the article, make sure you go back through it and, and check it out. Cause it's, it's, I, I just don't understand where she's going or what the whole point of the article even really is. Right. That's, and that's what gets me. It's like, like I said, it sounds like it's a rant about her husband's hobby that she doesn't get or doesn't like. And then she generalizes it to the entire vinyl collecting community Yeah, and you know, for, for whatever, it doesn't bother me, but I, 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 it angered me a little bit while I was reading it. I mean, I'm like, well, that that's not true. It's, yeah. you know, if uh, opinion pieces are just that. But well, that's exactly what this is. But. Yeah, but you should still put a little bit of fact behind yeah, your opinion, exactly. you know. You know, justify your opinion. That's the point of, you know. Writing. Writing, something yeah, like that. yeah, exactly. Absolutely. One part of the article that uh, I, I guess I really kind of, that kind of, caught me right away was there's a line where she says purists might say that vinyl offers a superior sound quality to that of streaming services but i can't hear the difference fair enough you can't hear the difference but there is there is a big difference between what you're getting in any streaming service and what you're going to get on uh, with a vinyl record now granted some of the higher end services whether it's title or uh you know uh, apple, apple music, music is now doing has lossless, lossless. A lot now, yeah. you know that that definitely has more of a, a cd kind of quality sound to it there's still a difference be- between that and, and and vinyl records just like there's a, a song quality difference between cds and records right you know and, and it's kind of hard for me to say whether i prefer a cd over a vinyl or vinyl over cd I definitely prefer both of those over MP3. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think the streaming services are starting to catch up. And once they get there, there's nothing wrong with saying, yeah, I just prefer streaming. Yeah. Because you can't, there's no argument between the sound quality. But right now, there is. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, again, I just don't, not hearing the difference, that's fine. You know, it's just like uh, high def television. Some yeah. people can't see a difference between, you know, standard HD and 4K. Some people can see a huge difference. It's all in, per, in personal perspective, yeah. but but I, I there was a comment on a recent video of ours where someone said, "Well, why why would I buy records when I?" He said the he has a YouTube Premium account, so he just downloads the videos and listens to them in his car, which I get that, but don't try to tell me that that sound quality is better than right. the CD or the record. And and ultimately, at least for me personally. It's a different experience. Yeah. I only stream when I'm in my car, essentially, or you know, out and about where I can't listen to records. Yeah. That's an experience because you're doing other things or your focus isn't 100% on the music. When I'm at home, my focus is on 100% on the music. I put a record on, I'm sitting there listening to the yeah. music. It's, a, it's just about experience and perspective and perception, too. Yeah. And I think some of that kind of comes with, and I'm not sure this lady's background or, or, or anything about her, but you know, I, I think a lot of that kind of comes with the... The, the over the last you know 20 years you know music has become very disposable yes a, and a very like you know it's a very second kind of thing to to a lot of people where obviously people like us it's definitely something more you know center stage but i i think some of that may play into opinions like that it might yeah i i just i don't again i'm glad it's an opinion piece and not by some critic or something so i guess that's that's a plus but you know that kind of print though is, you know, it's in, it's irresponsible. Yeah. If you ask me, but it is again just opinion, and yeah. it's hers, and she can have it. Yeah, very much so, and we can complain about it. And we can yes, <laughs> yeah, she can have the opinion, and I and we can we can complain about her opinion and tell her her opinion's wrong. Well, that's all we have for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Drop us a comment down below. Let let us know what you guys think about that article, because like I said, it's it's interesting. It's yeah. <laughs> it's. It's one to definitely check out, though. But uh, let us know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all we got. Until next time. Talk to y'all later. Keep on spinning. Peace.